As vehicle manufacturers, the OEMs, continue to make advancements with new technology, the way that HP Tuners is able to support the automotive aftermarket in terms of diagnostics and calibration is also evolving. In the past, typically on most supported platforms, you could take your HP Tuners interface, plug it into your vehicle's OBD2 port, you license the vehicle, and then at your leisure, you can use VCM scanner and VCM editor to data log, read, write, and edit. But now with some newer applications, newer vehicle platforms, that is no longer possible. The vehicles are coming from the factory with a locked ECM, PCM, or TCM. Before we get any further, we should define what those acronyms are in case you aren't familiar. ECM is referring to engine control module, PCM is powertrain control module, and TCM is transmission control module. If your vehicle is a 2017 plus GM truck uh, with the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, the L5P, or maybe you have a 2015 plus Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram vehicle, or even a 2019 plus C7 ZR1, the Corvette, this may sound familiar to you and it affects you. The vehicle comes with a locked ECM from the factory. What HP Tuners now has are various services and upgrades that are available for these applications, which we'll go over, that allow you to have a unlocked or upgraded ECM once it's done, which you can now use HP Tuner software, both the interface and also VCM suite, to perform changes, calibration changes, diagnostics. Whether you're pursuing overall better fuel economy or overall better performance, you will need one of these services and options. Today's video, we're gonna go through which applications this is applicable to, some details on the process, explaining what the different options are and helping you understand which one is the best fit for you. First, let's talk about which vehicles and applications are supported and require a control module service or upgrade. HP Tuners has solutions for GM applications and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram applications. We typically here just refer to it as Dodge for Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram because that's a lot of brands all at once. So you hear us talk about the Dodge Smart Access Cable or the Dodge PCM upgrade, but know that that refers to all the FCA or now Stellantis Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram applications. Moving back to GM, so the first GM application we'll talk about is the E41 ECM. That is found in 2017 plus GM trucks, the Silverado and the Sierra, with the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, the L5P. For the E41 ECM, you can either do an exchange, an upgrade, or a purchase. Moving on, we have the E90 ECM. That is found in Chevy trucks that have the L84 or the L87 V8. That is available only as an exchange. The ZR1 is supported, the C7 ZR1, 2019 plus Corvette ZR1, that has an E99 ECM. For that, you can either do a purchase or an exchange. And lastly, we have the T87A, the TCM transmission control module, that is only available as an upgrade. Moving on to the Dodge side of the fence. All 2015 plus Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram vehicles will require a Dodge PCM upgrade or purchase of an already upgraded PCM. The only exception is the 2015 plus Viper. So you Gen 5 Viper owners there do not require a PCM upgrade. Next, let's talk about the three options available. But note, regardless of how you get an upgraded HP Tuner's PCM, ECM, or TCM, they are only going to be compatible with HP Tuner software. We offer these solutions whether you need a really quick turnaround time, you need to back ASAP, or if you're looking for a more cost-effective solution. The first one, purchase. When you purchase an already upgraded HP Tuner's PCM or ECM, you're getting a brand new control module. For the GM applications, you must supply us with a VIN and your brand new control module, your ECM, will be programmed based on that VIN for your vehicle. In the case of Dodge applications, when you purchase a new already upgraded Dodge PCM, you have to provide us with a stock calibration that will be set up on that upgraded PCM for you to put it into the vehicle. What are the main benefits of purchasing a PCM or ECM from HP Tuners? Well, first of all, you get a brand spanking new control module. It's completely new. You also don't need to send us in your core from your vehicle currently. There is no downtime for your vehicle, and it's the most simple, straightforward process. For the GM applications, you must include the VIN of the vehicle, and for the Dodge applications, simply send us a stock read of the calibration that's currently on the vehicle. Upgrades. This is for those that don't want to purchase a brand new control module or exchange their control module for a different one. This is a direct upgrade to the existing control module in your vehicle. 
The process is fairly simple. First, you place your purchase for a upgrade service. Then you send in your control module to HP Tuners. The team here does their magic, and they send back the control module ready to accept tunes with HP Tuner software. But now there are a few caveats and requirements here. ECMs and PCMs that are coming in for upgrade must be fully functional, working condition from a physical standpoint and a communication perspective. That means no broken tabs and connectors. That means no water damage, fire damage, or internal damage. I can't stress this enough. HP tuners cannot accept ECMs or PCMs for upgrade if they have broken tabs or connectors. It simply is not allowed. Now for GM applications, this simply upgrades your ECM to make it ready for tuning with HP Tuner software. It does not program it to the vehicle. So if you were to have a junkyard or a spare ECM that you're sending in from upgrade that's not originally from the vehicle, it's only going to be upgraded to accept tuning with HP Tuner software. It will not, we're not gonna reprogram it for your vehicle. Now for Dodge applications, similarly, if it is not the original PCM from the vehicle, a junkyard or a spare, you you must send in a stock calibration file, a stock read, prior to sending in this extra spare or junkyard PCM in order for it to go through the Dodge PCM upgrade process. This only applies to Dodge applications. Now note, even though there is no hardware change being made, the back cover of these control modules will have to be removed. When we're going through this process for upgrade, there is a lot of information that you will want to include for the HP Tuners team. We'll list this on the screen here, and it's also going to be available on the various website product pages. This information is really important because it ensures that we have all the relevant customer information, your VIN, all of that info that helps guide your PCM or ECM through the upgrade process and makes it work as well as possible, make sure nothing gets lost in the system, just make it easier for everybody, both on our team and on your end to make sure your control module makes it through the upgrade process properly. What are the benefits of the upgrade process? Well, you will not have to perform an immobilizer relearn, you don't need to perform a crank relearn, and you don't need to use the replace ECM function in VCM scanner, and it is the most cost effective option. The only downside here is typically it'll be a minimum three to four day turnaround time to get a PCM. Those are business days to get a PCM or ECM upgraded, and then you add on shipping time. So no, your vehicle will be down as the PCM or ECM will be here at HP Tuners getting upgraded. The last option is the exchange. This is for those that want to exchange their existing current vehicle ECM for a different one that's already been upgraded and ready for tuning and diagnostics with HP Tuner software. This option is only available for GM vehicles. That includes the E41 ECM, the L5P, the E90 ECM, and the E99, the Corvette ZR1 ECM. Note that for this one, you will have to send in your core, your existing vehicle ECM. Once that is received here by the HP Tuners team, they'll turn around and send you back an already upgraded ECM that is compatible with your vehicle and is already ready for tuning and diagnostics with our software. When you are sending in an ECM, you must make sure that it is fully functional. It cannot be damaged, no broken tabs or connectors, no fire or water damage. It has to be physically intact and functional from a communications perspective, just like the requirements we talked about earlier. When you're purchasing an ECM exchange on the website, you will have to input your VIN, your vehicle year, make, and model. You'll perform the replace ECM function in VCM scanner with the stock ECM, and then you include some customer information that is listed out on the website product page. The principal advantage of doing the ECM exchange is you will receive an already upgraded ECM ready for tuning and is compatible with your vehicle, and also this is one of the most cost-effective options. The only downsides are you may have a vehicle that is down for three to four days not functioning because the ECM is going through the exchange process, and also with the upgraded ECM that you get from the exchange process, you have to perform the vehicle anti-theft system relearn with a dealer tool. Some final disclaimers and reminders. Regardless of which option you pick between exchange, upgrade, or the purchase of a new ECM, it will only be compatible with HP Tuner's tools for tuning. No universal credits are included with the purchase of an upgrade, exchange, or brand new PCM ECM. And also, you'll want to have an MPVI interface on the latest firmware, the latest version of VCM suite, and an internet connection to license and tune your vehicle. If you don't already have an MPVI interface and you need to send in a stock file or something like that for the process, please note on the website, there is an option to indicate to our team that you would like your interface sent to you first as part of your purchase so you can complete the entire process. 
and also VCM scanner, dealer diagnostic tools, and other diagnostic tools will remain fully functional with an upgraded control module from HP Tuners. Lastly, for L5P E41 ECM purchases, whether you're doing an upgrade or an exchange, please make sure you fully understand which option is the one you're looking for. Check out the website, read the details. If you're still confused, feel free to reach out to our support team. Remember, an L5P ECM upgrade, that ECM must go back into the truck that it came from. That clarification will make it much easier for the process, both for you, the customer, and also for us at HP Tuners. We are proud to offer all of these solutions for Dodge and GM applications to enable our customers to have the latest diagnostic and calibration abilities with our hardware and software. If you have any other questions, make sure you check out our website, our forum, our knowledge base, and comment below too. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next video.